Shawnee, aka Total Makeup Junkie 101. So it has been a while since I have filmed a What's in My Bag video. And when I mean a while, I mean it's been like two years. So that's a little bit longer than a while. Either way, I know this is one of my very favorite videos to watch because I think it's just a girl thing that we like snooping in other people's purses. And there is like mass major construction going on outside my window. It is not even funny. So if you guys hear beeping and loud crashing noises, I'm okay. They're just building something like right outside of my apartment. Construction workers gotta do what they gotta do and I gotta do what I gotta do. So I gotta film through all this beeping and construction going on. Into the point of the video, my purse. This is a new purse that I just recently got and I am kind of obsessed with it, which is kind of the reason I wanted to film this video. This is a Kate Spade purse. I believe it is called the Emmy Satchel and it is in the shade Tropical Blue. And I believe this is a limited edition type purse. I actually got it on sale at Nordstrom. I was just walking through Nordstrom just to get to Sephora, this is actually this is actually what happened. I was walking through Nordstrom because I parked my car in the Nordstrom parking lot. Walk through to get to Sephora. I happened to wander by the purse section and this happened to be on a clearance table. And my eye just like zoned in on this purse because it is the most beautiful aqua blue color I have seen in my life and I ran up to it I grabbed it I hugged it I tried it on for a whole three seconds before deciding I wanted to buy it on the bright side it was on mega sale I believe this purse originally retails for like $350 or so and I actually got it for $188 the satchel purse the Emmy satchel looks like this it has kind of that classic Louis Vuitton beady um, overall design to it. That's kind of the way it looks. It has the top handles so you can just hold it or put it in the crux like this. And then it also has a longer strap. Now this strap, even if you, you know, extend it as much as it can be extended, I think it's still too short to be a crossbody bag, but you can use the strap to put it over your shoulder. All of the hardware on this bag is gold. And I think that's another thing that really, really pushed me to buy it because um, a lot of times I see this aqua blue color and I see silver hardware and as much as I do love silver hardware I think the gold just gives it another twist. It just looks so much more summery and I realize we're going into the fall months but I have no shame. I love this bag. I will probably be wearing it clear into like October, November. On the very front of the purse, you can see in very, very small writing, it says Kate Spade, New York, and then it has the little spade stud. And the one thing I wasn't crazy about was that the Kate Spade, New York is kind of just like stamped on top. So I'm sure with wear that is gonna wear away, but um, I wasn't too worried about it because I still do like just this little spade stud detailing. I just think it looks really nice. Even if that Kate Spade thing came off, I just really like it. The back of the purse has this little card slot. So you can probably put like your ID or a credit card or like a little business card or something back there. The sides are just plain. You do have uh, the longer strap that can be hooked on and off and you have another little little chain thing down here. The purse has a top zip and that is what the inside of the purse looks like. I'm just going to jump into everything I have in here. Honestly, I didn't clean out my purse or anything like that. I know people say that, but just so you guys know, I didn't take anything out. This is honestly what I carry on a day-to-day -day basis. The first thing that's always in my purse is my wallet. I have, you know, my ID, my credit cards, my rewards cards, and a little bit of cash that I carry with me. My phone, I have the iPhone 5S, and I have this adorable little Minnie Mouse case on it. I got this from Disneyland when I went a couple months back, and I'm kind of obsessed with this case. Next up, we have a little mirror. This is just a Sephora mirror that I got for free when I got a gift card or something and to be completely honest I can't even open this mirror ever I have to have somebody else open it because to open it you kind of have to dig your nail like into the little latch and 
I refuse to do that because it'll mess up my nails. I also have a little bottle of hand cream with me. This is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. And I switched between this and my Kiehl's Hand Salve. I love the Kiehl's Hand Salve so much. But this is a really, really good multi-purpose cream. I can use it on my face if I have any dry patches on my face. I can use it on my hands. I can use it on my elbows, my knees. I just really love this for like an all-around cream. Then I have a little lip balm. This is the Soft Lips Cube Lip Balm and I believe this is the, yeah, this is the vanilla flavor. It is so, so cute. I just love the way it looks. Then I have my car keys and I have this little keychain that one of my best friends gave me for my birthday. Like, three two or three years ago now and it's still going strong it's a little high heel keychain from bb it is so cute and i've got a little card wallet with my business card in it i also have a little travel pack of kleenex this is the cvs brand kleenex um it's pretty it's like in this peacock thing and it's, they're almost gone i used up this whole side so i have a couple kleenex here then i have my lanyard this has my house keys my apartment keys um mailbox keys all that kind of stuff and i have some eye drops these are the blink lubricating eye drops for contacts lens wearers con contact lens wearers and if i have a really long day sometimes my contacts get really dry throughout the day so i just use these to refresh them and i have a pair of mini tweezers these are just by tweezer man and they're so cute they're like little polka dotty but you have no idea how many times i've actually used these these come in such handy i've used these to obviously you know pluck some eyebrow hairs that may go rogue i've also used these to pull a splinter out of my hand these just come in handy i'm just really really glad that i keep these with me then i've got a couple of hair ties you can never have too many hair ties i also have a pair of my contact lenses the contact lenses i use are the focus dailies and i have awful awful vision so bad that i believe i am legally blind in the state of california so i am not allowed to drive or do anything without glasses or contacts not that i would ever even dream of going anywhere without my glasses or contacts i can't even get out of bed and get to the bathroom without glasses or contacts on that's how sad it is but so I just keep an extra pair in case something happens to the ones I'm wearing or I happen to have to stay the night somewhere or whatever. I just have these on hand. So that's all that's in the big bucket portion of my bag. You can kind of see the inside now. It's literally just one big bucket. And then it's got a couple of side pockets here. And then it's got a little zip pocket here. So in the side pockets, one of the side pockets I use to keep medication so i have some allergy medicine that's allegra i also have some peptal bismol little chewable tablets i've got some cough drops these are just the ricola lemon mint cough drops and i also have some dayquil because you never know when you're gonna get a cold and then in the other side pocket i have disneyland tickets i literally went to disneyland like two months ago and i just just have these in my purse for some reason and then for this little zippy part here i have uh more business cards just like a whole stack of them because one time i went somewhere it was like an event and people kept asking me for my business card and i ran out and i felt really weird saying oh i don't have any business cards anymore but um anyways i just keep backups and then i have more hair ties as i said you can never have too many hair ties and i have some you know feminine items so we're not gonna get into that so that is everything that i carry in my purse i know you guys are probably like you don't carry any makeup with you and normally i don't if i go out for the night or something and i have a particular lip color that i want to refresh and touch up i will throw that in my purse and i may throw in a black eyeliner just for waterline touch-ups throughout the night but overall I don't really carry any makeup with me. The thing I like the most about it though is that it is not a very heavy purse. The problem I have with some purses is that they are so incredibly heavy just when you get them without even filling them up with product. They're just heavy from the get-go and this is not a very heavy purse. One thing that I would have liked on this purse is for it to have feet. You can see the bottom of it does not have any metal feet on it but it does have this incredibly cute 
little bow stitching you can see here that is just such a signature Kate Spade that was another thing that I just looked at it and I was like yep yep I want this I want this but that is all that is in my purse I did look up this purse online and I've noticed that it is on sale on a lot of different websites so I will put a couple of links in the description box down below if you guys are interested in this purse it'll be easy for you guys to access and purchase if you guys want thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will catch you guys on Monday bye it is a very very unique formula it is not heavy or oh my gosh I am so 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 excited about this palette I know you guys have probably heard of it